Real life can be so boring. Where's a secret portal that transports you to a magical world when you need one? Well, in stories, seemingly ordinary objects can turn out to be so much more. Here are some of the nine most incredible magical objects from books. Cursed Treasure from Homerooms and Hall Passes by Tom O'Donnell When the heroes of the realm of Briandalore aren't battling vile monsters, they're playing Homerooms and Hall Passes, a role-playing game where they pretend to be average American 8th graders. But when one of the heroes accidentally touches some cursed treasure, they get transported into the game and must survive their toughest challenge yet, middle school. Enchanted Teen Magazine from the 1111 Wish by Kim Tomsick. When Megan wishes for some magic as her classroom's cat clock chimes 1111, she's granted an enchanted teen magazine that promises miracle makeovers and secrets for winning friends and crushes. But if only it was that easy, Megan has some catastrophic consequences waiting. Bright Yellow Flower from Lalani of the Distant Sea by Erin Entrada Kelly. Inside the petals of this miraculous bright yellow flower, speckled with flecks of white, is the cure for the dreadful Mender's disease that plagues the women of San Laguita. But the flower is only found on the legendary Mount Issa, and now 12-year-old Lalani must embark on this dangerous journey to the island in order to save her mother. The time-traveling ship and rusty orange bus from Time Castaways by Liesel Shirtliff. When Mateo, Ruby, and Cory get on the wrong subway train, they wind up on a time-traveling ship called the Vermilion and get transported to Paris in the year 1911. Turns out they're a part of a family of time travelers. The journey never seems to stop. There's also a rusty orange bus named Blossom that lets them travel across history and time. The Candle from the Twelfth Candle by Kim Tomsick. When Sage gets a magical candle on her 12th birthday, she makes a wish to reverse the contrarium curse that causes things to always go wrong for Sage when things go well for her classmate Priscilla. And things always go well for Priscilla. But Sage soon learns that she should be careful what she wishes for. Bee Lady's Magic Honey from Where the Watermelons Grow by Cindy Baldwin. Della is scared her mother is getting sick again, but she thinks she knows how to heal her for good. With a jar of Bee Lady's magic honey that has mended the woes of Maryville, North Carolina for generations. Tudor Greenhouse from Tangled in Time by Catherine Lasky. When Rose enters her grandmother's Tudor Greenhouse, she certainly doesn't expect to be transported back 500 years to Hartfield Palace, where she becomes the servant and confidant to the banished Princess Elizabeth. Peanut Butter Jar from The Wishmakers by Tyler Whitesides. Ace was just trying to make a sandwich, but things take a turn when he opens up a peanut butter jar and a genie named Ridge emerges. Ridge looks like a regular boy with dark skin and black frizzy hair, except he wants Ace to save the world. No pressure. Talking Paintings from The Frame Up by Wendy McLeod McKnight. The Beaverbrook Art Gallery looks normal, but it holds a secret. The paintings are alive. When one of the paintings, Mona Dunn, suspects some shady dealings happening, she teams up with Sargent, an aspiring artist, to solve the crime.